you, Lord. Everyone is doing well. I'm gonna wait for a few more of you to get up. God bless you all in Jesus' name. This uh, live stream is gonna be very, very beneficial to those of you that have been promised the uh, gift and the blessing of a godly marriage. If you haven't been and the Lord hasn't spoken to you, about a kingdom marriage about the time that you're going to get married this is not going to be for you but if you know that god has spoken to you about the gift and the promise and the blessing of a kingdom marriage then definitely stay connected to this live stream i pray to bless somebody okay i'm gonna be um just speaking about um the day you meet your spouse okay and i'm speaking about two things uh, in particular okay so I'm gonna pray before we get right into it but before we pray I just want to highlight very very quickly every word I say please take to the Lord take it to the Holy Spirit and ask the Lord if this word is for you don't take every word I've said and say this applies to me it is for me even if you feel it is for you still take it to prayer and let the Holy Spirit give you confirmation and peace of mind about the word that you have received amen so I received so many. Amen. In Jesus' name, let's just pray, you all. Let's just pray. Father, Lord, we cover this network with the blood of Jesus. We pray in Jesus' name that you will have your way, O Lord. And Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence. That you will come and speak through me today, O Lord, in this live stream. Lord, let it bless the people that it needs to let us go out, O Lord, with your um with your power, O Lord, and with your grace, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, have your way, sweet Holy Spirit. We welcome your presence. We we worship you. We love you, Lord. Do what you want to do, O Lord. Even right now, I release myself to you, Lord, and let your um power be upon your people today, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We pray against net network disruptions in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. For we welcome Spirit. Come and have your way. We worship you, oh Lord. Oh Lord, yes we do. do. Yeah, amen. So this word is gonna be um it's going to be prophetic and it's going to be a guide as well. So I want you all let me see if I can get onto oop, my camera. Let me see if I can get onto the live stream. I'm oh, sorry, the live chat. From, I hope you all can see me clearly. <laughs> you all want to see my face? So see my face now. The word of God is much more important, but here I am. I mean, it's a bit dark where I am, but we'll just manage. I'm still trying to set up, set up, set up. But yeah, yesterday, for all those that were here during our one year, um, our, our one year uh, celebration anniversary, thank you so much. God bless every single one of you. Many people were healed yesterday. Amen. I know for sure. And uh, my husband was here with us as well. So if you missed that, try to catch up because we did celebrate. Amen. Praise God. Okay, so I'm going to try and open up the live chat on my computer because I want us to have a lovely, a lovely evening today. We're going to talk about marriage and the day you meet, you are going to meet your spouse. Okay. Uh, I think somebody's waiting for like a specific date. <laughs> like Minister Kim is going to tell us, oh my goodness, the day, the day, the hour. That I'm going to meet my husband, my my, my wife. <laughs> you all, you all. I wish I had the ability to see far and wide into <laughs> into the future 
I do see some things. The Lord reveals some things to me, but come on, you all. God is not going to reveal to me the day that you, any of you, are really going to meet your spouse. But whenever I come up with a title like this, I want it to be not only prophetic, but to be a teaching that will help you, that will guide you. So if you're looking for a quick prophetic word about the actual date you're going to meet your spouse, I will not lie to you and I will not tell you. God told me that you, brother, you, sister, are going to meet your spouse on the 17th of April. 2021 no i'm not here to give you false information i refuse to do it i'm going to give you words of wisdom that will guide you and empower you in jesus name amen so let's talk about the day you're going to meet your spouse what that day is going to be like what's going to happen on that day right that's the best that okay we're back praise god okay hmm, thank you jesus because i feel like you're going to have some questions to ask me um, so we we'll try to get through through that. Amen. Praise God. Okay. All right. I want to say hello to some people before I begin. Some of our loyal family members. Amanda, hello. God bless you, Hannah. God bless you, Jiva. God bless you, Fiona. God bless you, J Marie. God bless you, Golden Goddess. God bless you. Hello. Ada, God bless you, Ada. Hello, Kati. Hello, Sylvia. Hello, darling. God bless you, sis. Um, who, uh, who else do we have here? Melanie Bonita. God bless you. Okay, we've got a few of you here. All right. That is fine. Right, so I want to take your mind back to a very popular scripture that had a sister named Rebecca and Isaac amen so i'm not gonna go too deep into it and i don't want this live stream to be more than 20 minutes or so um time is gone already <laughs> amen so i'm gonna give you the scripture but then i'm not gonna read it and i want you to take that as your homework and go and study that scripture for yourself amen so genesis chapter 24 i believe is from verse i don't really know what verse exactly but if you start from verse 49 or 50 and then read all the way down to I think it's 60 or 65 I'm not sure how many how many verses they are you would have like um, a, a rounded uh, up, uh, idea of what that scripture is talking about praise God so it's really speaking about Rebecca and Isaac so you see um, the, the day you get to meet your spouse the day you meet your spouse whether it is the day you get um, connected to them over email or over the phone um, or the day you get to meet them physically okay so those two categories apply so I want to speak about what that day is going to look like the truth of the matter is it's going to be just like any other day the day you meet your spouse will be just like any other day any other day God bless you Chanel any other day hallelujah so i don't want you people that are waiting for the blessing of a kingdom marriage to begin to feel excuse me or to begin to wonder like what is it going to be like or um what is what is going to happen on that day is that going to be some kind of like uh supernatural kind of angelic visitation or something like that that is going to happen and going to make you know that oh yes this is who i'm supposed to be with it's going to be so surreal and so uh pure and so no 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 that's there's not going to be <laughs> there's, there's not going to be any strangeness like that okay it's going to be simple it's going to be just like any normal day but i can tell you this based on my experience when i met my kingdom spouse when i met my husband um, I'm gonna speak about when when I when I met him. Um, I mean, over the over the internet because our restoration began over the internet. Okay, so that when that happened, in the beginning, everything was so like, wow. I could sense the God factor. I could, I could feel the Holy Spirit. I knew that it was God. Everything felt so holy. And pure yeah everything felt so holy and pure amen so you are definitely gonna have th that that um, holy sensation between you and this person amen so and then also you know when you do eventually meet your spouse the day you eventually meet them physically face to face 
this person that God has assigned for you to be married to and to go into ministry with. Amen. That day is not going to be different from any other day. It's just going to be, the best way I can put it is you just meeting Jesus and you just hugging Jesus. Amen. That's the best way I can put it. How do I know that? Why am I saying that? Because of my own experience. Okay. Because of my own experience. That's why I say that. The day that I met with my husband, with my with my kingdom spouse, eventually and finally, it was it was something that had been um, waited upon for such a long time, and then eventually when it happened, what did it feel like? I, I just felt the love of God all over me. I I felt overwhelmed with the love of God. For me, I was kind of expecting. Uh, Yes, I was expecting like, like there was going to be like, oh, this like butterflies in my stomach and I was going to be like, yay, I'm kind of like overexcited or like head over heels and kind of just, you know, but it was just a normal day, but it was beautiful. It was a beautiful moment. It was a glorious moment. So don't expect too much. Amen. And don't also under expect. Just have an open heart to to that day if you know that day and god has given you a date for when you're going to meet your spouse prepare for that day the lord wants you to prepare spiritually physically emotionally hallelujah the lord wants you to to um to um excuse me to um prepare in so many ways amen so that when that day eventually comes you are ready you are not shocked at any occurrences and i keep on saying this in many of my live streams about kingdom marriages that your spouse who the lord has prepared for you what you see within them or um outside of them with regards to what they look like or what they act like should not help you determine whether or not you want to stay or whether or not you want to do this like like it shouldn't make you feel intimidated like god is this what I've been praying for? Because what you, because who you've been speaking to over the phone or writing emails to when you eventually meet this person, it may not be everything that you actually um, envision or that you thought, even though you've been seeing them over video calls and talking to them and praying with them and all of that stuff, right? When you eventually meet them face to face, you might get to find out that, okay, there's still more work to do. There's still more this to do and this. I don't know if I make any sense, but that was that was my own experience. Okay, so the day you meet your spouse is a day that the Lord ordains for you, a day that He wants to fulfill His promise of um, giving you a godly marriage, a godly union for His glory, for your enjoyment, for His glory, especially for His glory. So before you meet your spouse you need to ensure that you purify yourself as well purify yourself purify yourself i can't speak enough about purity and sanctification and consecration and the essence of it as you're drawing nearer and nearer to us when you meet your spouse you need to spend more and more and more time purifying yourself sanctifying yourself and doing all of what the lord wants you to do amen because the lord wants you to be ready in that way especially with the women the lord wants us to be ready in that way the lord wants us to be ready because we are we are the ones that that are going to be spending more time more and more time on the altar of prayer building our marriages amen the lord is counting on a lot of women now to raise the men i know it sounds crazy but that's just the truth so from the day you meet your spouse up until the day um, you you are going to ministry or whatever else the Lord God has called you to do, you need to be ready. You need to be a spiritual warrior. You need to be a spiritual warrior. You need to prepare yourself, purify yourself. You need to lose some weight if you need to lose some weight. Exercise if you can exercise. Um, stay away from, from some certain foods like meat um diary food and things like that just fully just consecrate yourself unto the lord amen before you cross over to meeting this person consecrate yourself before you cross over hallelujah does anybody have any questions and i'm saying this why because 
I've already experienced this, you all, so I know what I'm talking about. Trust me. I know what I'm talking about. The Lord might need you to get into quite a bit more fasting as you get closer to the day you're going to meet your spouse. The Lord is definitely going to encourage you to fast and fast and fast. Can I get a witness? Is anybody in that um, frame of time where they know they're about to meet the person that God has promised them and they're in a cycle of fasting? <laughs> you all. I was in a cycle of fasting, like constant fasting. I'd finish a seven day fast and I'm going right into another word. I'd finish a three day fast and I'm going into right another word. Can I get a witness or is nobody in that? Because <laughs> I know. Oh my goodness. Jesus, Lord have mercy. But yeah, the Lord is not doing this to punish you. It's because you're drawing nearer and nearer and getting closer to when you're going to meet your spouse. So that day, to so that holy day, you all, it is a holy day. It is a holy day for some of you the lord might even tell you not to eat anything on that day um until uh, until you you uh, meet your spouse the lord god might even want you to even um wait until that day uh wait on him until that day and then you eat your first meal together when when you when you meet on that particular day so but yeah amen okay hallelujah the marries okay god bless you god bless you Oh wow, Jiva just finished the 40 days fast. Well done, girl. God bless you. Keep on going. It's not easy, you all, but it's something that we have to. It is it is helping. I mean, it helped me in so many ways when I just kept on fasting and just you know seeking the Lord and waiting upon the Lord. Um, you know, um, just to gain more clarity about what the Lord wants wants me to do, wants my spouse to do, um, more direction, more instructions, amen. So stay away from um, any unclean food and just be healthy, purify yourself, purify your souls, cut away some uh, some of your um, some time, you know, that you spend on the internet. Sometimes, in fact, I'll tell you all when I got closer to the day that that I met my my uh, my uh, kingdom spouse, my husband. I literally just took, I think I took like a three days fast and I turned my phone off for two and a half days. Like nobody could reach me, like nobody. I was in this zone where I just wanted to be between me and the Lord because I was getting close to this day where I was going to meet my spouse and I did not want any distraction. I just wanted to just spend alone time with my first husband and let, let him do what he wants to do and speak to me and talk to me and just cover me in this time frame before I eventually go for submitting the one that he has to give to me on the air so I turned my phone off and when I turned my phone back on yeah it was crazy notifications yeah anyway wait this is just my own guide and my own advice for those of you that are, that are waiting um, to meet your spouse waiting for that special day to meet your spouse many of you might get married on the same day many of you might get married the day you meet your spouse many of you might get married the lord might might uh, prepare you must have told some of you that no dating i mentioned that yesterday in the live stream no dating so when you meet your spouse it's very very likely that you're going straight to getting married like the the same day at the registry some of you could be the following day so, some of you could be uh, three days later okay so um, when I met when I met my uh, my my uh, husband now when I met my kingdom spouse I think it was how many days one two three, three days okay three days and it was done like three days three days you all it took three days okay I landed on a Saturday and now and then we got married on a Monday was that even up to three days that wasn't even <laughs> that wasn't even up to three days you all that wasn't even up to three days okay so i met my spouse on on saturday and then we got married on monday so yes god is good okay so because the lord had already prepared me and told me that he didn't want me to date or to you know, spend time or do this and do that no 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 the Lord doesn't work like that. So many of you need to prepare for the day you're going to meet your spouse. It might be the same day, or it might be within 24 hours or 48 hours, like myself. Within 48 hours, it was done, it was sealed, and I didn't go broadcasting to the whole world that, hey, 
here's my wedding pictures oh, here's my ring oh no I'm, I'm married the Lord doesn't want you to do that either how do I know that the Lord spoke to me about it told me about it don't spread it out don't let this person know don't let don't let not not that he doesn't want you to let people know he doesn't want to, want you to get into that mindset or that lifestyle of got married just married hey um i'm the latest married chick in town kind of thing no 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 no. the lord doesn't want you to do that okay he wants you to remain humble be thankful be graceful be elegant just live your life and just um make peace um, with everyone else around you that never wanted you to get married before there's people that, that don't want you to get married they'll try to fight you and say all sorts of things um, behind your back or even in front of your face trying to act as if they want to protect you based on you know past experience or one thing or the other but you need to remain positioned in the promise of God remain positioned in the promise of God so that the enemy doesn't come to distract you and uh, take you away from what the Lord wants to do. So make peace with everybody. And uh, many of you, as you're crossing over to where God is calling you into, the reason why I keep on saying crossing over, crossing over into your promise, into your marriage, is because many of you are going to have to connect, um, change, switch countries, borders to meet who God wants you to be with. So that's why I keep on saying um, crossing over. And we're talking about crossing over into into your uh, promise. And your promise can be marriage. Okay, so that's what I'm um, talking about today. So, um, what was I going to say? I, I think I've forgotten what I wanted to say. So, many of you, are, as you're crossing over into into your promise, um, just prepare, 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 prepare. I've forgotten what I wanted to say. May the Holy Spirit help me to remember in Jesus' name. But that is what the Lord wants you to do. Okay, purify yourselves. Okay, cleanse. Um, pray more, because. The truth is, as you're getting nearer and nearer and drawing closer to when you're going to meet your spouse to that holy day, um, the enemy is doing so much, like twice as much to try to prevent or resist that day. And there might be things that are going to get in the way, like prior to when you meet your spouse on that very day. There's going to be lots of things that are going to try. I don't want to spoil it for you all, but I want to just help you prepare. Okay, prepare spiritually. Prepare in every way. Purify yourselves um, so that when the temptation comes, when when the um, enemy begins to try to attack you, you're not going to be don't cry stop crying when Satan attacks you attacks your mind or attacks you in any way don't cry okay be strong and put the enemy in place and keep fighting excuse me and keep fighting yes Esther preparing thank you Amanda that's that's right that's right God bless you experience so yeah don't don't let the enemy um hit you so hard that it gets you to start crying okay i've been there and then the lord began to encourage me um when the enemy attacks me he says to me do not cry the tears like so close to coming out and then i hear a voice say, do not cry okay so ladies gentlemen don't cry when the enemy attacks you remain strong remain strong hallelujah amen so in the book of genesis 24 uh, rebecca um uh, sorry the servant of isaac that that came for uh rebecca when rebecca met with the servant of isaac she never ever 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 expected that the following day was it the following day or the same day um i think the seventh oh sorry guys so i think the seventh i think the seventh of um isaac stayed over please try and read the story don't take my words for it um, please try and read the story. I think he stayed over um, and then the following day was her wedding. She went to meet with her husband. Amen. So, amen. God bless you, Ethel. Yes, please don't cry. You all need to stay strong, okay? The enemy is just an idiot. He will always try to attack. So, um, Rebecca never had a clue that she was going to get married the following day. I think it was the following day that she went home with the with the seven can somebody tell me if i'm right or wrong the seven slept over at the place i can't remember i've got too many things in my head you all trust me <laughs> so yes um so when it was time for them to go yeah so she never expected that she was going to get married she never expected that she was going to get married. Rebecca did not expect that she was going to get married. She didn't expect that it was going to happen. 
like that. I mean, when she rode on her camel, and um, <laughs> hallelujah. And when she rode on her camel, thank you so much, Melly. God bless you. When she rode on 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 her camel to go to Isaac, I mean, Isaac could have, you know, you know, um, said no, this is not who I want to get married to, and then turn her back, and then she could have just gone straight home. But she was working with the Lord. I believe that Rebecca had um had an upright heart and she was serving the lord you know for for the lord to send um isaac servant um abraham servant um to come to pick rebecca for her to be married the following day and she never expected it but she was preparing and she was prepared she was just doing her own thing going to the springs drawing water from the springs hallelujah and the next day she went up and she got married and the day that she got married she never expected that it was going to be that day and it just happened so get ready you all every single one of you that are waiting for the, for the lord to release you into your kingdom marriage onto that day where you meet your spouse and onto that hour where you are finally joined with your spouse whether it be at the registry at the church um wherever you're getting married prepare yourselves because the lord can just God can do anything at any time. I tell you that I, when when I finally got into the hour where the Lord um, had prepared for me to be to uh, meet with my spouse, he all, I never saw it come in. Like, I mean, even the day the restoration took place, like you know, spiritually first, like over the phone and talking and everything and praying. When that happened, I never even expected it. Like, it was a surprise. Let me tell you something about the Lord, okay? Daddy God, Abba Father, Abba Sweet Father, Abba Glorious, Amazing Father loves to surprise his children, okay? If you don't know God like that, then you haven't really got into that level of relationship with the Lord, work with the Lord for you to experience his surprises, his amazing deep love, okay? I can tell you for sure, for certain that God has surprised me over and over and over and over again. There is nobody, no, no man or woman on this earth that can come to me and tell me God does not exist because he does. Let me tell you something. <laughs> God is so real. I'm the evidence that God exists. Okay. Can I get a witness? Is somebody the evidence that God exists? Can somebody say, I am the evidence of God's existence? I am the evidence of God's existence. Can somebody type that in the live chat as well? I want to say that in the live chat. I am the evidence of God's existence. I am the evidence of God's power. I am the evidence of God's love. I am the evidence of God's blessings. <laughs> I am the evidence. I am the evidence. Yes, I am the evidence. Hallelujah. God bless you, Trisha. Hallelujah. God bless you, Nell K. Jennifer, God bless you. Donate. God bless you, Anne. God bless you, Andrea Jones. God bless you. Yes, you are the evidence of God's existence. Amen. Hallelujah. So the Lord has surprised me so many times. So many times, you all. God has kept on surprising me over and over again. So like I was saying, the day I eventually got to meet my spouse was a day that I never even expected, okay? Out of nowhere, supernaturally, the finance for my ticket came, <laughs> myself and the kids and the Lord told me. You know what's funny, you all? Um, a day before the finance came for us to get our tickets across over to meeting my kingdom spouse, my husband, the Lord spoke to me. I remember that day I was I was on my computer and I was working I was working and out of nowhere I heard a voice say to me I believe that was on the 18 on the 18 of January I was working and the time was 19 minutes past 9 p.m. or something like that and I heard a voice say to me you will have all that you need tomorrow to get your ticket and I was like okay that has to be you lord <laughs> because i've been waiting for some time now to eventually you know um have enough money book our tickets and be like yay it's good we're gonna ticket we're going we're crossing over to get married and get into this thing and run the ministry properly and 
when I had that was the 18th and then the following day you all the Lord did the most most amazing unexpected miracle in my life the finance that I needed without having to ask a single soul without having to apply for a single loan without having to go anywhere family let me tell you about the power of God okay I just chose to have faith in the Lord and rest when you have faith in God and you rest in him then the supernatural begins to happen when you have faith in God and you rest in his power then the supernatural begins to happen when you have faith in God and rest in his power in his ability you release the supernatural the supernatural is unlocked for you on your behalf just like that then the finance came and I was like, wait a minute, I heard a voice say to me yesterday that, my God, I was going to receive the finance that I needed to get my ticket. Oh my goodness. And then it came and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, boom, just like that. And let, let, me, let me just tell you all, I did not even go ahead to get my ticket. I was like, um... I don't know what to do. I'm confused, Lord. Can you tell me what? To, can you tell me what to do, Lord? Because I'm a bit confused. Um, um. Okay. Do I get my ticket? Do I not get my ticket? I didn't know what I wanted to. I was so confused, and the money was in overwhelming amounts that I had enough to get a ticket, and I had money left over to do shopping for myself and the kids and my husband as well oh my goodness this is how the lord works you all okay so after some time after some time of going back and forth back and forth i eventually made up my mind i think after a few days i even called my i called my husband then and i said oh my goodness uh the finance to book the ticket is here but i'm not really sure if i should book the ticket now i don't know like when 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 now bear in mind the lord gave me a date for when i was going to um crossover and the day that the lord gave to me he gave me a number and that number was 26 okay so when the lord gave me a number it was in 2020 he gave me that number i think it was in august august 2020 god spoke to me and told me that i was going to be on the 26th that i was going to um travel and this is me thinking it was going to be september 26th september 26 came and passed october came and passed November came and passed. December came and passed. January 26th was the actual day that that I eventually, um, you know, traveled uh, from from uh, where I was leaving. Amen. To begin to proceed towards meeting my husband. So 26th was the day for me. Okay. So that was when everything, yeah. Praise the Lord, okay? God is able, hallelujah. I don't want to keep on just ranting, going back and forth. But I pray this has helped somebody. I really pray. I really hope that this has blessed somebody. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, hallelujah, amen. So prepare for the day that you meet your spouse. You will meet the man and woman that the Lord has said you are going to meet with. Just pray, okay? very very prepared okay and there's no such such thing as being over prepared the lord loves us to be prepared so that you don't get caught by surprise by anything um yeah but what's most important is that you purify yourselves and you cleanse okay before you finally cross over to be with who god wants you to be with and to be where the lord needs you to be for his glory amen thank you jesus hallelujah god bless you all so that's all I wanted to say in this live stream. I pray that this has blessed somebody. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray for you all that are waiting. I want to pray for you all. Thank you so much, family, for just um, listening and just sticking through. But I pray in the name of Jesus Christ for every one of my, my uh, brothers and sisters in Christ that are here connected tonight, oh Lord, to receive your word. I pray, Lord God, for the ones that you have promised the gift and the blessing of a kingdom marriage, that you will bless them, that as they um, begin to draw closer onto the day they will meet their spouse, Lord, give them all the signs, the confirmation, Lord, lead them, Heavenly Father, oh Lord. Let 
every spirit of doubt be destroyed off of their mind, O oh Lord, that when that day finally comes, O oh God, they will be able to celebrate with their spouse in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, let your will be done in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray for you all that you will stay in faith, that you will not be distracted. I pray against every plan and every attack of Satan against your marriage, against your wedding day. I cancel every demonic and every evil satanic agenda against your wedding day, against your marriage in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Your wedding day will happen so smoothly, so sweetly. You will rejoice in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As you draw nearer to the day that you will meet your spouse i pray that god will give you the grace to prepare to prepare spiritually physically mentally emotionally intellectually in every way i pray that god will give you the grace to purify yourselves to consecrate yourself to sanctify yourself by the power of the holy spirit in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i pray that god will give you the grace and the strength to, to, um, to um, carry on on the altar of prayer, to intercede for your spouse, to intercede for yourself, for your future marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray that God will give you the grace and the strength to continue to fast and seek Him in the secret place. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray that God will bless your marriage, that when you eventually get married, that God will bless your marriage and make your marriage a success and an act that will save many lives. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, do not give up on the Lord, you all. Keep on serving the Lord. Remain committed, remain connected. What the enemy loves to do is as you draw nearer and nearer to receiving the promise of God for your life, what the enemy loves to do is to bring so many things your way that will distract you. And he can do it in very, very subtle ways. He can do it through a family member. He can do it through a friend. Praise God. The devil is a liar. I will not miss my words in Jesus' name. He can do it through any way. The, the, the devil is a very very deceptive person okay so stay in the spirit be a man and be a woman of the spirit okay so, so that when the lord is leading you um in a certain direction you know that you have to follow that direction so that you will not miss the lord or miss what the lord is doing in your life in this hour be very very sensitive to the holy spirit and I pray that, that the Holy Spirit will help you to be more and more descending to the voice of God. That when the Lord speaks to you to tell you what to do, that you will listen. Oh Lord, Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, make them spiritually sensitive to your voice. Open their spiritual ears. Open their spiritual eyes in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you all. And um, I'll see you all in the next live stream, which is going to be tomorrow. Um, if there's any questions you have or prayer requests, please send them to contact at newmangirlforwood.com. For all the givers, every tighter, and every single one of you that have sold into this ministry, may God bless you. May God prosper you the way we pray for you at midnight. You all, thank you for being a part of um, Operation Reach Out, Lift Up as well to help those in the pandemic. For anyone that wants to be a part of um, Rolu, um, reach out lift up all the links are in the bar below to sow to be a blessing unto other people may god bless you all and prosper for you all in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth the titus may god uplift you in jesus name i prophesy luke 6 38 over you all and psalm 126 when god blesses you god releases the avalanche of blessings in your finances you will be like them that women because what God is doing in this hour he's, is that he's beginning to release a huge amount of wealth. Like I love to say this every single time because he has told me to prepare. The Lord has told me to prepare and has asked me to tell you to prepare. So this is just a simple reminder again to prepare. God is releasing well to those people that he knows are going to invest into people's lives, invest into the kingdom of heaven, to promote the kingdom of heaven because the end time is drawing near. So it's not just for those of you that, that are, oh, you're experiencing difficulty, you don't have money to eat or do this. Yes, God wants to bless you too. He's looking for who he can trust, of, of people that he can put in their hand and, and all they want to do is to look for who to bless is to look for who to help amen so it's not just blessing for you alone but it's blessing blessing for um people that are connected to you blessing for persons in the ministry that god wants to give to you amen
Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Spiritual pleasure. God bless you. Thank you. So that's the word I have to release to you all tonight. And I pray that you all, somebody has taken something tonight. In the name of Jesus, remain blessed, family. All our books are on Amazon, Kingdom Marriage Keys for those of you that are single and plan to go into a godly marriage. Um, definitely check out Kingdom Marriage Keys. It's a must-have. And, and it's so short. You can read that book in like one day and a half or like, I don't know, 12 hours. And it's um, on Amazon as well. It is an e-book and a paperback um, and all the other books. The Ultimate Prayer Book Guide are uh, there as well. And uh, Newman Godfrey Devotional is there as well. Um, I put a notice up on on Newman Godfrey Guide that we're not currently taking any counseling or mentoring at the moment because the Lord has instructed me not to take any counseling or mentoring at the moment. I don't know why. But um, I know there has to be a reason for everything that, that the Lord says says to do. I believe that the Lord just wants to draw you nearer to Himself. And in as much as God has placed people and spiritual leaders there to help you and guide you and lead you, the most important thing for you to understand is that the Holy Spirit, God's Holy Spirit, okay, is the ultimate guide and the ultimate helper. So draw on you to the Lord in this time and spend more time with the Lord and I pray that he would um, bless you uplift you encourage you empower you and just um, help you experience experience him in a deeper level amen hallelujah God bless you all so God bless you family thank you Holy Spirit for a wonderful live stream session it was very very good to connect with you all today and I'm so thankful to have you all as a family um as a body of christ it's so lovely to connect with every single one of you for those people that have been here since the beginning god bless you if you jumped on midway god bless you as well if you're new and it's your first time here please subscribe okay welcome to the mcgoff with international ministries i am minister glenn aj hoj jesus loves you all so much if you haven't given your life to jesus give your life to jesus jesus loves you say this prayer with me oh lord god i come to you today I believe that you died for me and I believe that you were raised up on the third day. I confess you as Lord and Savior. I receive grace to live for you today. I receive your Holy Spirit, Jesus. I declare I am saved and I am born again. It is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Get a Bible if you haven't got a Bible. Find a church to connect to. Amen. And spend time with the Lord. God bless you, family. We love you so much. We pray for you every single day. And yes, remain in faith and stay strong. Never give up. Okay? Talk to you all very soon. God bless.